Hello, this is hey 2 n and welcome to your daily dose of Frenchiness. So today we are going to add touche gestures to our Kali. Uh, obviously this works only if you have a touche pad. I am going to show you how to install the right package while resetting you if works and two custom examples. So for that uh, we need two package made by Jose Exposito. So let's go in GitHub right there and search for Jose Exposito. The two repository is available on the top of the page, Tusheg and Tushe. Tusheg is the service and Tusheg the GUI for the settings. If I'm go in Tusheg, I can view in the readme that I have uh, the installation process for Arc Linux distro based. So I am going to follow that. For installing Tushek, nothing special. I just have to use Pacman, so I'm gonna to open the terminal. And we just have to do sudo pacman s tusheg. I'm not doing the command because I already I've installed that because in the installation process we need to do a reboot and I don't want to do it in the video. So after installing this package you have to enable it uh, with systemctl like so when you restart your computer or start it the service is launched automatically. For that this is pretty simple too you just have to do sudo systemctl enable to shag dot service dash dash no and after that you have to reboot after the reboot if you want to check if the service is running you can do a sudo systemctl status to check that service and i enter my password and at this line active we have running so the service is well launched now we are going to install Touche, that is the GUI for the settings. You have all the installation process described in the repository. This is pretty simple too because uh, the package is available on the OR for Arc Linux distro based and on Flathub for the other distro. Like I say, I already have installed that, so uh, if you want to install it, this is pretty simple. You just have to use yay or paru and execute the following command yay dash s touche or with paru paru dash s touche. So now I am going to show you how this works. So you just have to launch touche um, like so. And here you have the main window for that. So the window is pretty simple. In the left part, you have a list of applications. I have uh, deleted all the default applications that are available um, when you do the first install. And in the right, you have all the settings for the application you have selected. You cannot delete the global gesture application because this represents the gestures for uh, the world desktop environment. So for the example I want to show you, I want for example to do a swipe with three fingers left or right for going backward or forward in my browser histories. This works with every browser, but I am going to use Vivaldi. The only thing you have to do is to check that the shortcut is uh, right for your browsers. So it's pretty simple. I just have to click on the plus and on the application I want to add. And like so, uh, you see I, I, I have added Vivaldi stable. I am going to enable the left and the right swipe. And I just have to select here keyboard shortcut. With that, uh, we need to mind what shortcut we, need, we want to execute for this swipe. So in Vivaldi, this is pretty simple. We just have to go on the settings, then keyboard, 
and at the bottom of the page we have the page section and we are going to find the history back and history forward shortcut this is alt left and right so i just have to click here to add the shortcut alt left and alt right now that is done we doesn't have anything to do for activating it because it's automatically uh, taken into account. So if I do a swipe left, I am going backward. And if I do a swipe right, I'm going forward. So this is pretty strong. If you want to do specific stuff in your browsers, you can do that. But in fact, the more application you had, the more gestures you have, because each application in this list have their proper gestures. So if I'm doing a swipe with three finger left in Vivaldi and I have added a swipe with three fingers left on the global gestures, this is the Vivaldi that is taken into account if I am on Vivaldi. And if I'm on the desktop, this is the global gestures. The important thing here is if I don't have any um, configuration created or any uh, swipe activated, nothing is uh, is taken. So, for example, if I enable the up uh, for Vivaldi and when I do uh, up, I do a right mouse click, for example, like so. If I en enable the global gestures and do something else, like, for example, another uh, keyboard shortcut, now, um, maybe mm, a show desktop, for example. If I do a hub, it show me the desktop. But if I do a hub in Vivaldi, I do the right click. So you just have to figure out um, what kind of gestures you want. For example, um, I have set up for me the two following gestures in Kili, the up and the down, and the up and the down do a keyboard shortcut too, like uh, we have done already in Vivaldi. Oops, keyboard shortcut. The first one is Meta W and the second one is Meta P. The Meta W um, allow us to view the desktop overview, like so. And the MetaP is a custom uh, shortcut I have made for a kernel. So when I do now a swipe up, I open the desktop overview. And if I redo it, it's close the desktop overview and same for kernel. But like I say before, if I activate a swipe up in Vivaldi, it can do other things. It's important to keep in mind that because, uh, for example, if I am on Vivaldi, I want to have the Super W for the desktop overview enable. Uh, the fact that I have enabled the global, in the global gestures, the swipe up, uh, doesn't allow me to enable it in Vivaldi. Another thing you want to do, uh, maybe, is to select execute a command option. This is very powerful because you can create a script that do uh, certain things for your PC. For example, uh, I don't know, a script that uh, uh, fetch all the, the updates for your OS and uh, install it. And with just that, you can automate all the sequence. The another option is well described in the readme of the project to shag. Rosa Expositor, I've made a very good readme, so don't hesitate to read it. And uh, he have made too some uh, gifts, so this is very easier to understand what uh, option does in every case. For example, the most common uh, gesture you want is all listed in the in the option 
uh, minimize the windows or maximize the windows, for example. But uh, personally, I am going to fit to the keyboard shortcut because um, this is a fresh install, so I don't have any tilling Windows Manager, but I am going to install one, so I don't need to have minimize or maximize windows. And that's all. This is pretty simple. This is a short video, but I don't want to do a more complex video about that. This is just a little sneak peek into uh, this powerful application, I think. So if you have found this video interesting, don't hesitate to like it, uh, subscribe to the channel, or add a comment, and I see you next time. Goodbye.